so hey guys welcome back to my channel once again and we have just completed this introduction to docker lab for this quest 4 of google cloud representative program 2022 and uh, this Kubernetes engine quick study is already done because we have i think it is it was present inside that quest 1 2 or anyone is 1 2 3 so no need to do this one so we will start this lab third lab so let's start it Click this start lab button. And uh, let's wait. This is taking interpret time. Okay, now it is ready. So open it. Use another account. Paste it. Next, complete password. Paste it here. And uh, we need to accept nothing. Okay, no problem. Only one account or more. Okay, nice. Now let's read inside it. Setup and requirement. Chrome browser in Cognito window. Nice. Okay, so let's activate the cloud cell first. Okay, this will take a little bit of time. So don't worry, just give it a little bit of time. And I scroll down once it is active, we'll run this code. So same previous code okay so this is done copy this zip cloud authorize list code and paste it here this is the command okay, so this will take okay good run this code or you can skip this code there is no use of running this code but we should run this for code first G cloud authorized list so it is important okay now I scroll down and let's read Google cloud Google Kubernetes engine in the cloud is environment type the following command to set your zone okay so paste it we are setting US central 1p as zone and uh, after you set your zone start up a cluster for use in this lab Okay, creating a cluster IO in US Central 1B. It will take a while to create a cluster. Okay, so let's wait. This will take a little bit of time. So let it start, then we will continue. Till then, let's wait. Okay, so this is done. Our cluster is now ready. And took see the time it took around I think two to three minutes. No? Let's move next. Get the sample code. So let's clone the repository from the GitHub. This will clone it. Then we'll change the directory. Okay, I think this will take a little bit of time. So Let's wait. Okay, so finally this is done. Now copy this second code to change the directory. Paste it here. Okay. Now let's list part inside of this. Good. Now I scroll down and uh, copy this code here press enter now next copy this code paste it here press enter okay so this one it is not in the radius status so we need to wait a little bit this is the given get port command to view your running ignis container so, once again Okay, so this is now ready mm, then we can move further so copy this code paste it here and now copy this last code paste it here and uh, okay so it is under pending status still is in pending 
So this may take a few seconds before the external impedance fail to populate. Okay, so our external IP address for this ignis container is still under pending condition, so this will take a little bit time. So let's wait. Okay, so this is external IP address we just got. So this is done. Now we can check our progress. Done. Now let's move inside this pod. Scroll down. So to create a pod, first we need to run this code. So let's run it. And uh, now copy this code, paste it here. Okay, pod is created. Now copy the second one. Okay, so this is the port and it is in running condition. Nice. Now copy this code. Paste it here. Okay, so these are the list. Now I scroll down in the second terminal. Now you have to turn the one to run the Kubernetes one port forward and another to curl the command. Okay, so you have to run another terminal. Repeat it, paste it here. Okay, and one now in the first terminal you can curl this command. Let's go inside it. Paste it here. Okay, so hello message we've just got. Nice. Got verifying hello back from the container. Nice. And you also can see in this command authorization field, something like that. And okay, I think we can skip this one now. So let's skip this up to here. Now in the call command track, log in terminal. It means it to exit out when you don't interact with cloud cell. So let's exit. Just press Ctrl plus C to stop it. So it is a stop. Now for the service, scroll down. You have to create a service. First you have to change directory. So paste it here. You have to change the directory. Now copy the second line of code, paste it here. Okay. Create a source, copy this code, paste it here, press enter. Okay, done. Now scroll down, copy this code, paste it here. Okay, now scroll down a little bit. Okay, now we'll copy this code, copy it, paste it here. Okay, done. Nice. Now use the cloud compute firewall rule. So traffic repeat and paste it here. Press enter. Okay, so our firewall rule is about to be done. This will take a little bit time. Okay, done. Now let's check our progress. Good. Now first get an external IP address from one node, so copy this code, paste it here. Okay, this is external IP address, and this is also external IP address. Now try hitting secure mode and subscroll one. Okay, you can ignore that call command, so don't have, no need to be worry. Now we're adding a label to the port. Currently, 
Dynamica news that uh, should work suddenly. Okay, so copy it, no need to change the directory, just paste it here. Okay, now copy this one, paste it here. No source found, sorry, no source found in the default namespace. Seems like you have added. But um, it's no source found. No, no source found in the namespace. Okay, don't worry. Let's run one by one. If you get error, we'll check it from the beginning. Just copy this code, paste it here. Sorry, we have forgot to write the um, IP address. Again, let's check progress. Okay, so everything is correct. No need to change anything, just run one by one every code. Now, for deploying application to the Kubernetes, let's see how to do this one. First, we have to create the deployment. Get started. If you have already created a deployment for a service, after all, you will be an internal service for the. Okay. So, get started by examining the authorization development configuration file so copy this code paste it here press enter key and uh, scroll down always go ahead and create your deployment object nice copy and paste it here so this is your object you just created you have to create a service for your authorized development use covenant create command to Okay, let's copy this command and paste it here. Okay, so you have created our development service. Now do the same thing to create and expose the hello development. Copy it and uh, paste it here. The service is created. Good. And, uh, copy this final last code. And paste it here. Press enter. Done. Mm, there is one more step to creating our front end because you need to store some configuration data. Okay, so copy this code, paste it here. Okay, might take a few minutes for the external API to be generated. So let's wait. Okay, I think this will take a little bit of time. So we have got the external IP address. Now we can check our progress. Okay, this is taking a little bit time. Done. So I think we have completed. It must give a hundred percent score. Okay, so we have completed all the steps. And that's where we completed this lab. So, thank you. See you in the next video.